Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this question, we have been given x raised to power x raised to power 4 is equal to 4. We have to find x raised to power x raised to power 8 plus x raised to power x raised to power 2. What is this value? And if you have solved this question wrong and got the answer 18, let me tell you what is the mathematical mistake you are making. Then we will see what is the exact method to solve this question. So what is the mistake we usually make? We see here the power 8, we see here the power 4. So what do we think is we just square both the sides so we will get the power 8. So this is the thought process that comes to our mind. So we will just square both the sides. On the right side the value is 16. But on the left side if you are writing x raised to power x raised to power 8. So that is totally wrong. Remember this is not the correct way to write. Because here the power 4 will not multiply with power 2. Remember this. The exact correct way to write is this the power 2 will multiply with power x raised to power 4 because that is the property power raised to power will get multiplied but this is the complete power so complete power is x raised to power 4 not just 4 remember this so x raised to power 4 will get multiplied by 2 so this is the value you are going to get you are not going to get that x raised to power 8 so that is the wrong way to write. So that way if you will solve you will get this value to be 16. Similarly if you will see the value here square you think of take square root both the sides. But if you will take square root both the sides you will not get power x square remember. That is not the value you are going to get because you will get x raised to power 4 multiplied by half. So the value that you are going to get is like this x raised to power x raised to power 4 by 2. So this is the value you are going to get 4 raised to power half not the value x raised to power x square equal to 2. So this way if you will solve you will get the value 16 plus 2 equal to 18 that is totally wrong because this is the property power raised to power get multiplied. Here the total power is x raised to power 4. So now how do we solve this question let's take a look at the solution. So to solve this question what I will do is first I will substitute x raised to power 4 is equal to t so the question will become simpler form. This is x raised to power 4 equal to t the question is x raised to power t equal to 4. So now there are two exponential equations and to solve these two exponential equations I will simply take log both the sides. So in this equation if I will take log I can write ln x raised to power t is equal to ln 4. Now I can apply the property of logarithm. I can bring the exponent in the front of the log that is the property of logarithm. So we can write this as t ln x equal to ln 4. Similar kind of thing I can do here also by taking log both the sides. So I can write this as ln x raised to power 4 is equal to ln t. So now here I can apply the property of log. I can bring 4 in the front here and it will get multiplied. 4 ln x equal to ln t. So simplifying is very important. If you look the problem like this, you won't be able to simplify. But if you will make these two equations, x raised to power 4 equal to t, x raised to power t equal to 4, it becomes easier to simplify. Now, let's take a look at the question. Here, ln x is ln 4 by t. Here, ln x is ln t by 4. So, we can simply equate ln x values. So, we can equate ln 4 by t is equal to ln t by 4. Now we can compare both the sides and see that the value of t must be 4. That is how the numerator and denominator get equal. So we can say one of the values of t is 4. But mathematics doesn't work like that. You cannot compare directly and solve. So how we can say that this is the only value that can also be justified. How? What we will do is we will just cross multiply. 4 ln 4 is equal to t ln t. This can be written as power rule of logarithm. This 4 can be written on the power here. 4 is to power 4. T can be brought here. Similar the property we used here. So now this is ln A is equal to ln B. So we can write A is equal to B. So we can write T raised to power T equal to 4 is to power 4. So you can compare here. You can compare here also that T must be equal to 4. But why this will be the only solution that you can see from the analyzing x raised to power x function. If you will analyze x raised to power x function by application of derivatives like differentiating and find the point of minima that is 1 by a, you can see that for x greater than 1 by a, the function is always increasing before that the function is always decreasing. So if it is always increasing 
so t raised to power t if it is always increasing for t greater than 1 by e so there has to be only one value of t for which it will satisfy there cannot be two values which we can see and if you want to see how we got this result how we got this using application of derivatives i have shared a link of another video in which i have discussed this function and even i have discussed a very important inequality comparing two numbers 3 by 5 raised to power 4 by 7 and 4 by 7 raised to power 3 by 5 how do we compare which one is larger which one is smaller so you can watch that video the link is in the video description go through it and you will see that this is the kind of result you are going to get so now we can say that the value of t is equal to 4 so we have solved this question now So now we will simply find the value of x raised to power x raised to power eight and x raised to power x square. So what I will do is I will write x raised to power four as x square whole square. Four I will write two square. So we can see that x square is nothing but two. Just by taking square root both the side, this is a positive value, so this is two. So x square value I know now two. Now I will find x raised to power eight. So I will take power four both the side. In this case, power will get multiplied two multiplied by four. That is it. Here it will become sixteen. So this is the value we also know sixteen. So I will simply put this value. The question will become x raised to power sixteen plus x square. Now see, we got again x square. X square is nothing but two. So we'll put the value two. Here I will see x raised to power sixteen, but I know x raised to power eight. So I can write this x raised to power eight whole square. Power raised to power will get multiplied. So we here we know the value is sixteen. So now we will put the value sixteen here, whole square plus two. So that will become two fifty six plus two. The value is two hundred and fifty eight. So this is the correct answer. The answer is not eighteen. The answer is two hundred and fifty eight.